No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Wow, dude. Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. No way. I wonder what he's seeing. Look at that stuff just piping in there. Where's that distributor cat? Did he grab it? Thank God. Oh man, this is so messed up. It's crazy as that shit happens, bro. Corporal Harden, the shipment of caskets unloaded early are specialized cargo that must be treated with the utmost sense of shit. We're gonna die. I don't know, man. There's no use hiding. Okay, so he was this just carrying fun. it. Okay, I need to see what that was. Was it even considered a secret? Uh, memo instructed the locks should be fitted to the casket. Nobody should have access. Contain material classified as military secrets. Widespread violence. Yeah, fine. There must be plenty of to go around. More than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? Oh, Jesus. You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. Oh, shit. Aha! That's bad. Now we don't have that rebreather either. Or do we need to start running again? Shit. We're good. We're now. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. None of you move. Now. None of you go all changing on me now. We had a premonition where he shot himself. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Jesus. Just put the gun down. Nobody has no to get No changing, hurt. he says. 
You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Ah, uh, shit. What mist, man? You've... You must have seen it! It's everywhere! Yellow creeping everywhere! It's inside now. Inside with us, now! Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! I don't know! Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? See, I think if we say that... No, no, I, I mean, we have He's gonna left. shoot us. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? Yes. We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Yes. <laughs> it's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Yeah, you do. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. Oh boy. It's changing me. On the inside. Uh. Fuck! I kind of want to let him do it, but. Oh shit. He might still do it. Hey! Hey now, don't! Alright, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. They had nothing to subdue Junior with. Oh, okay. So we shot him. Okay. Okay. Fine. Oh, fucking shit. All right. Fuck. I mean, I'm okay with Junior dying, I think. Let's take the gun. Fuck. Or is it empty? That was something. Uh, they're alive, though. So that feels pretty good. This guy, though. If he sees Junior, he's gonna go great. nuts. That's just fucking great. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? So far, the possibilities are death by gunfire, death by falling, death by drowning, and now death by boredom. Hey! What's happening? Okay, damn it. It's time to go down in the hole. Yeah, we could drop there. I want to see if we had something on the other side of that hole. Oh, come on now. Are 
Are these open? No. We're coming back pretty far. Okay. That was a tease. I thought maybe we were onto something cool there. We're dropping down. It's so quiet. Like, does it need to be this quiet? Okay, cool. Super cool. Wow. Ah, the gentle sounds of a haunted nightmare boat. Nope. Only sarcasm hidden in here. I mean, we're just sucking in this Manchurian gold now, too. Who the hell is that, and whose shoes are those? White sneakers, some weird sweatered guy. What the frick? Who's got white sneakers? Okay. All field officers. The scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. Okay. I guess it'll have to be Hawkins, poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and respect he deserves once he's got his body back at home. So I have to make this work for now. Which means that there wasn't a child in there. They used it for, uh, for that guy. Holy shit! He had the hood on, then he didn't. Whoa. <laughs> like, you're like, I fucking knew it. Hey, wait. This is déjà vu. Yeah. Uh, but it also had that hanging basket thing, which is where I think we lost. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I see where we are. So this is now like the real version of this room? 
And where we had opened a casket, this is the stack from the very beginning. Oh shit. What are you gonna do? Hey, 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 listen to me. Take a deep breath, okay? Nobody's gotta get hurt here. No, no, I'm, I'm backing off. I'm backing off! Okay? Just calm down. What does this say? Olsen opened the bulkhead door, flooding the cargo hold. Spoiler. Break these. Shit. There it is. Raw, too. <laughs> this is bad. Playing with them, like, let's go. Did you drop the thing. Come on. See, I didn't see that we were holding the thing. I wanted to say not now so I didn't see that we had the distributor cap in our hand. It looked like we maybe we did. I don't know. Well. He's half the man he used to be. We were able to retrieve the distributor cap from Olsen after a struggle. And we saw those, there was like ghosts or something in the background. That's, uh, okay. Okay. We got it. We got the cap. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it had in the back of my mind that maybe, just maybe, that was gonna be some type of 
not everything is what you what it seems situation. Because the way he died, I'm still like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed like he was just dead all of a sudden. All right, let's try it. Conrad later. Oh, cool. Okay. God. Oh, there he is. So if he doesn't escape, like he wasn't even here the entire time. So I wonder if he doesn't escape, what else happens with him on the ship? Oh, wait, but... <laughs> uh... Oh, well, that's bad. What the hell is this place? Yeah, he just... <laughs> we're gone. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not... Conrad, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Just go back. Is it abandoned? Hello? Oh, no, dude. Alex, Julia! That door's gonna slam, isn't it? Are you guys here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What? What? Okay. I swear I'm telling you everything I know. I didn't see Brad. There was this crazy guy in a hood. That's it. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. Okay, so I guess by him doing that at the beginning, he's now dead? Or he, you know... Wow, okay. Uh Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, I don't know how to feel about a couple of things. Um I'm a bit confused obviously on Brad. And I guess Conrad, we can also say he's probably dead. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Yeah, almost. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, 
we will meet again. It's inevitable. Of course it is. Yeah, great. Huh. Want to spare me? So, okay, here's the thing. I really enjoyed it. I, I feel like Until Dawn was a bit stronger uh, in terms of story, in terms of uh, characters. The gameplay was very similar, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I wish that it was a little bit more uh, severe in terms of the ability to lose characters. Yes, I guess we lost technically two. The first was uh, Brad, and I, I'm i sure that along the way, people have been maybe explaining it in the comments, but uh, I've recorded this all in, like, the second half of the game pretty much in one sitting. Um, and so I'm not sure how the Brad thing is explained. I'm going to go back and check it out, but I guess when he jumped down there, because he had, the, he had the, the gas mask, he had the... Uh, spanner wrench thing he jumped down and that was it and then we saw later that he was dead but we didn't have another I don't think we had another choice of where to go or what so there's something there's some decision tree that caused him to die and I have no idea what could have led to that so that was a bit confusing and then at the end with Conrad it's kind of a feels bad man because you're like the whole time maybe he'll come to save us right and then our boat leaves and his shows up and you're like okay and he goes inside, and I guess he's gone too? So, kind of sketch. Kind of sketch. But, um, yeah. Look, so I played about the first two hours in the in recording-wise in one sitting. The second half, I played in one sitting. In between there, I had some friends over, and we played the uh, movie night mode. And let me tell you that I think that's where this game ultimately is the strongest. And I would even say that you could argue it is better than Until Dawn when you play it in that setting. And the way that it works is that y you assign each of the in-game characters, each of the five, to a real player. So we had there were four of us. So one of us had was controlling two of the characters. And the game will then prompt you between scenes to pass the controller to the player who's going to be kind of doing the most stuff. But uh, what it does in, in my notice, it, what I noticed, because we played about 90 minutes of it, and I had already played two hours previously on my own, right, for YouTube. And I had noticed a ton of differences in, uh, in different decision outcomes. And I'd also noticed that it made when you're playing single player you get to make the decisions for kind of everything and what it did was it was making some of the decisions that it would normally have just a single player make but because you're delegated to having uh one specific character you're only making that decision it was kind of interesting to see how that panned out um and we're i would say like of the four of us we're on various levels in terms of how comfortable we are gaming and uh you know Two of us were pretty confident in how we how we play games and like utilizing a controller and stuff like that. So like my wife, for example, she doesn't game. Uh, so when she was controlling and they have the quick button prompts, she would always, almost always fail. Uh, but it kind of makes for an interesting thing to see what happens when you fail because I, I wouldn't see that as often. What's this? Conrad? Oh yeah. Shit. Holy, come the fuck on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. Oh. Going it alone? I just saw someone in the woods. Oh, it's this Where guy. Was, they're gone. Going to okay, very good. Who's there? I found her with my own hand. Oh, this. Oh, I see. Okay. Jesus. 
Oh, that's the little hope he was talking about. Okay, so this is the next release. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna play them. They're cool. I like it. Uh, I was kind of under the impression that some things would carry over from, like, this release to the next one, but I guess if they're separate stories, then maybe not. That actor, I really like him as an actor, and he's... I think he's been in other games, too, where they use his likeness, and it looks really good. He's He's got a, such a unique look. But anyways, so we're playing with friends, and that's definitely the way to play it. Uh, I'll say it straight up. That is 100% the way this game should be played, and it's significantly uh, better because you can make fun of everybody when they screw up decisions, pretty much. And it's funny because you'll have a decision prompt up and everyone's like, do this, do this, do this, but the ultimate control is the person holding the controller, right? And uh, it's just fun to see how that plays out. I enjoyed this. There was a couple of parts where you're like, okay, some of it got a little bit slow, whatever. I think um, having it set on the boat maybe was a tad bit limiting because you're stuck in these corridors all the time and it's... The scenery became a little bit samey. Um, I actually enjoyed some of the characters. Obviously, they're stereotyped, and that's I'm fine with that. Um, well, actually, the thing about them being stereotyped that was kind of neat is when uh, when we were playing with with uh, friends, everybody kind of ended up assigning characters that were similar to them in certain ways, and I just thought that that kind of played out really interestingly. Uh, and so you kind of can live vicariously through these characters a little bit easier that way if they are stereotyped because you're like, oh yeah, I know what he would do in this scenario. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Was it was it amazing? I would say no, it wasn't amazing. There's things they could have done better. Uh, some of the things that I mentioned. But uh, did I did I enjoy it? Yeah, it was it was fun. It was, I really I did enjoy it. So. Hope you guys had a good time. I'm curious to know what your outcomes were, um, how you were able to kill or save certain individuals. Um, I'm going to definitely look up what happened to Braticus there because whatever. <laughs> I'm bitter. Uh, and I guess with with uh, the other guy escaping on the boat, he's just... That's, if he escapes on the boat, he just never comes back until the end, and then he guess he's always going to be gone, right? So the idea would be to not have him do that um, to save him, I guess. But I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to reading your comments. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye now.